Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius, aka Ty Killington. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what's up, everybody? Okay, so in this video, I am bringing you some more testing and some more comparison with the Wagner versus uh, various vehicles. On this video, it'll be the Wagner versus the Zentorno. All right, and we're gonna talk about a few things that have been tested previously and what we'll be testing going forward. Okay. However, make sure you uh, subscribe to my channel for the Illus Reels content of the game. Make sure you smash, I mean, smash, smash that like button. Hell yeah, man. Let's get right into it without any further ado. Bam, right here. Top speed straight line test, Wagner versus the Z uh, Zentorno. Now, you're probably asking, Ty, why are you testing this car? Well, for one, you need to test as much as you can just to get a good idea of what's going on. And more importantly, because I do care about the information that I put out here, because I know a lot of people pay attention, they listen to me, uh, and I feel like a lot of other YouTubers have lost this. They, they've lost their way. They don't, uh, you know, care about what they say. They're very disingenuous. And, you know, people buy into what they do say and take it for literal granted and, you know, make decisions on them. So I want to make sure I got it right. I don't want too much time to, to uh, go through or to pass uh, before I correct these things, okay? In my video the other day that I made, uh, I was talking about how the... Uh, the Zentorno was a competitive vehicle with the uh, Wagner. And I made that claim without testing it, all right? And uh, that was eating, that was bugging me. I was like, you know what, Ty, I, I didn't test that. I should probably test that out and make sure that's right, okay? Because there's a huge difference in price. Now, first things first, let me, let me make sure I got this very, very clear. I did make a comment saying that I do not recommend that you drop 1.5 million on this car, uh, mainly due to the fact that there are other cars coming out, particularly the XA21. Now, I don't want there to be an issue where people are all excited because other big YouTubers have said this car is great, which it is. But what if you drop 1.5 million, almost two, uh, on this car and it ends up just being, you know, replaced in just a couple of weeks, right? As you see right here, the Wagner gets a 118 and the Zentorno gets a 121. So definitely the Wagner is faster than a straight line. And here we're moving on to the actual, my actual track that I have. Now, I raced this car. Uh, the Wagner against a few others the other day, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, issues. Some people are like, you know, Ty, it wasn't a good test or whatever. I get that. Like I said, I care about, you know, um, you know, my information that I put out there. I want to make sure all the conditions are the same, even though I feel like the, the testing I did yesterday, I did 25 uh, laps, right? I did five different tests. And what I did is I got the average or the middle number. And that happened to be the, uh, the track that had a visual wet effect. I personally don't think that when, when you set a race settings at clear and there's a visual uh, wetness on the track because the lobby you were in is raining, I don't think that's a big issue. For uh, I, I don't think it affects it greatly, if not, or if, if any at all, due to the fact that I had test times that were faster with the wet conditions. I had test times that were slower in dry conditions because there, it's all a variant in, in how you race. So you want to take the middle time, right? And that, that's, that's just simply what the case was. But I understand, you know, that's hard to explain uh, when people are just seeing. It's kind of like on Twitter. It's hard to, you know, get a point across and it's 140 characters or whatever it is. You know what I mean? So I wanted to make sure I went back and did this, you know, visually, uh, I guess, you know, appealing to everybody to make sure everybody was okay with it. Um, and so we're going through this. Plus, I wanted to make sure that the information I was putting out was correct, okay? Because like, like I said, I, I really do care about the stuff I put out. And I'm not a huge YouTuber. I know I'm not, I'm not there yet. <laughs> but, uh, you know, people do pay attention to what I say because, you know, I am good. You know, I'm very good at making money in this game. If you don't listen to anybody about making money, you need to listen to me. I put that out there. All right, I'm saying that right now. I am one of the best, uh, arguably, if not the best, at how to make money on this game, okay? Uh, and I, yeah, I take pride. I'm, I'm a good racer. I really am. Uh, there's, of course, I, I get beat by people all the time, you know, but I, you know, win a lot of races that I'm in. And I feel I have a good understanding. So I want to put this information out. I feel like I represent the majority of racers out there in this game. And I take that serious. I, I'm a big car guy in real life. Uh, I've raced in real life uh, on, on actual tracks. Uh, so, you know, I, I take pride in that. And I want to make sure the information I put out is correct. So I put this one on a 10 lap race. You know, I do a lot of my testing with just five laps. Uh, and a lot of these, uh, a lot of that, that testing will help out and it will give you a good idea of what's going on. But I wanted to make sure, you know, that we got a full idea of everything on this. You know, got all the uh, extra laps in there and stuff like that, uh, just to make sure. And just to make, you know, everyone just kind of put everybody at ease. You can go to sleep tonight, you know, feeling fine. You know, <laughs> old Ty got there, he got it done right. Okay, and so we're going, but the biggest thing is that I made that comment without 
myself really testing it and putting out any information and uh, that really bugs me because there are youtubers out there that give the Zentorno high regard now you have to remember you have to remember all of us these are only opinions never take anybody for a hundred percent and anything in videos and real life or whatever you have to formulate your own opinion you collect information do your own testing if you can and get your own opinions out of it okay um, you know, I, I get that. I think the Zentorno is a great car. It's a great car. But I was saying, you know, and with my opinion, that it would be a competitive vehicle with the Wagner, especially because, and I was helping reinforce my statement of holding off on buying this until the XA21 came out because the Zentorno is half the price and it's just as competitive. So I wanted to back that up. Now, listen, every car is, is different for every track. Every track has a favorite car, right? Every track has a car that is dominant on there. Okay, so not one track can represent everything. Not one car can represent all tracks. You have to understand that. Okay, that is a big deal. So people are like, Ty, you should use another track. Well, it doesn't matter what track I use. I could use a track with, you know, a bunch of hairpins. I could use a track with a bunch of straightaways. It will not cover everything. No track really can. Okay, uh, some people may think that's different. You know, that's fine. That's their opinion. That's why we do this, right? These are just our opinions. But I wanted to make sure with my testing, with my comments, they reflect exactly what I do, right? So in my testing, I'll, if I say something, I want to make sure that I can back it up with my testing. I can be like, hey, uh, I said this because I've actually tested it. I've got video proof to back it up, and these are the numbers, and this is what happens, and this is what we're doing. Okay, and as you see right here, the Wagner destroyed the Zentorno. Comes in at a, the Wagner came in at a 438.177, right? And the Zentorno comes in at a much slower 440 it's a 10 second difference so if you were using my track and i said hey does internal is competitive and you go up against somebody in the wagner i have done you wrong right so i want to make sure that i did this the right way and got it out there as you can tell there's the differences in the best lap the overall times and that's that right there now you guys have to remember you know uh there's a lot of good uh youtubers out there that do this kind of stuff you got Bruffy. He is the man. I've been down with Bruffy since probably he had like 25,000 subscribers, right? I was watching his videos when nobody was watching his shit. He was getting like 500 views a video. And I knew that he put a lot of time and energy into it. I also wanted to do, I don't want to be like anybody. I don't want to be like Bruffy. You, know, you got Digital Car Addict out there. You got Central Game Hub. You got uh, uh, Gun It or G Unit 123. He does all these testing and stuff like that. You got your bosses. You got your. Uh, your uh, Saints fans, you know, these guys that do this kind of testing. You got everybody from damn Quibble Cop to, you know, whoever. I don't, I don't, you know, everyone does this kind of testing. But the majority of them do it half ass. They rip people off, like, you know, they've done with me or Bruffy or other people. Uh, and they don't, you know, and they're, they're not big enough to say, hey, what I may have tested or said may not be right. All right. It, you know, I want to make sure I'm, I'm letting you know, you know, I'm, I'm the illest and realest out there. I, I mean that not just in YouTube. In, in, in real life, right? I really do pride myself on, you know, trying to and stay true uh, to who I am. And, you know, if, if I do it, I'm going to say it. If I say it, I'm going to do it, right? It's the same kind of thing right there. Uh, so if I said something that wasn't right and I've tested it and I found myself to, you know, be, you know, uh, think a different way, I'm going to come out and, and correct that because it means something to me personally. If it doesn't mean anything to you, it means something to me. At least I can say, you know what? That probably wasn't the best advice. Let me uh, let, let me get the, the right shit out there and make sure it's good to go. Because that does mean something to me. At least I can, you know, myself go to sleep at night feeling a little bit better about that. Um, you know, I don't want to do uh, testing like anybody else. I, I want to do my own type of testing. I want to compare vehicles that are popular. Uh, there's already a top speed list. Whether or not you agree with that list, whether or not you think that it's correct, I don't agree with everyone's list. I don't agree with everything that, you know, Bruffy says or... Uh, with you know uh, G unit or one two three gun it one two three or whatever I forgot it it's something like that <laughs> hey you shoo -shoo, shoo -shoo. <laughs> I used to love his intro dude. he was so cool um, you know I, I you know I don't agree with everybody right but what I do is I gather information and then I do my own testing and I formulate my own opinions that's what you're supposed to do you never want to follow you want to lead right and you want to have people around you that can help you do that. Um, now, like I said, I, you know, no one is right. No one is wrong. You have to get this stuff on your own. But what I, the main thing is I want to make sure that whatever I do say that I have backed it up with information and you saw it right there. 
uh, the Wagner is definitely better than the Zentorno with my testing and my opinion on my style track. So I hope that helped out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Ills and Reels content in the game. Make sure you smash, I mean, smush smash that like button. If you got any questions at all, leave them in the comments down below. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.